Is that plugged in over there? Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Grandpa, he said, do you, 
he was telling me about how he actually could see this this butt opening, and he says, God is really powerful. And then he goes outside and there was peonies, or not peonies, uh, yeah, peonies, big red, and the buds were just coming, and this one opened up during the day. And he was just astonished. He says, Jesus has power to make these flowers change. And then he says, Jesus must have power to help me change too. Amen. You see the power in nature? And that's the power we that Aaron experienced in Moses. Okay. <clears throat> Moses led the children of Israel through the desert on their way to camp. Along the way, they came to a mountain where there was a little oasis. But when they got there, they found that there was no water. So the people grumbled and complained to Moses instead of trusting the Lord. We never do that, though, do we? Grumble or complain. <laughs> huh? Moses prayed and asked God what to do. The people were so angry with him, they were ready to stone him. And Moses pled with the Lord to help him know what to do. The Lord told Moses to take on the elders and to go to Horeb and do his leader standing on the rock. He instructed Moses just what to do when he got there. <clears throat> so Moses called the elders and told them to go with him and Aaron. Just as the Lord had told Moses, he was there at Horeb, standing on the rock. Moses did as he was commanded to do and struck the rock with his staff in the sight of the elders and people who were in the distance. <coughs> Immediately, water began flowing from the rock, filling the ground with water for all the people and cattle to drink. And there was a big, big of 
And then <laughs> I thought they saw like an old lady walking away. She had that way. Yes, Jesus will take care of you. He always has and he always did. Because this family trusted Jesus, friends came with food and offered the dad a job. Always remember that you can trust Jesus. Now a new danger threatened the Israelites. Almond was, was the grandson of Esau and was the head of a wicked tribe called the Amalekites. They attacked those who were weak and had fallen behind. Did they have some problems? <clears throat> I can imagine that they were fearful at that time when they saw the people behind them being attacked. <laughs> Moses told Joshua, one of his most trusted men, to select men to fight with the Amalekites. The next morning, the Amalekites came to battle, and Joshua was and Joshua was ready. Moses went up on the hilltop to watch the battle as it progressed with Aaron and Aaron. Moses held up his hands to God and prayed that the Israelites would have success. But Moses' arms got tired and he dropped his hands. When that happened, the Amalekites prevailed. When Moses raised his hands again, the Israelites prevailed. But Moses had a hard time keeping his arms raised because they were getting so tired. What's going to happen then? Aaron and Hur put a stone for Moses to sit on and then held up his arms so that Moses could keep his hands held up high to God until the sun went down. Joshua and his men won the battle. How can God help us on that? What was the a sign of what Moses was pointing to? I mean, when his hands were operated, what is that? What significance did that have? Yeah, so he was upholding, this is like upholding Bible promises for the for uh, <clears throat> for Joshua as they were in battle. So if you have, say, if, Aliana, say if uh, uh, Jonathan is having a real difficult day. You can see he's really struggling very hard with the enemy. What could you do to help him? Pray with him. That's right. Claim some. You claim a Bible promise for him. You think God would come to his aid? Think he'd have victory? I believe so. When I was nodding my head a while ago, it was because I had uh, been reading about the Ten Commandments. So I was reading in a page or something. Anyway, I'm getting nervous. Precision of the prophets again. About um, the, the, the different commandments and what uh, Mrs. White has to say about each one of those commandments. And one of them was on the Sabbath. And that she says, if we even think about doing something like planting our garden or going, you know, doing something that we would do during the week, we might as well do it. And so, I was sitting there last night, and we were starting to say something to Meg about something, and um, I said, oh, never mind, <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> and so, I, it, we, the Lord helps us through the Holy Spirit to prompt us and to remind us of those things that we've read in the Bible and in the Spirit of prophecy. That's encouraging. Amen. Toby heard the boys talking. They were angry at him and claimed to hurt him because he 
you know the crib? Toby knew that he was going to need help. He went to his room and knelt on the crib. God helped him to win the battle that day. He won by not fighting back and treating them away. God can help you too if you lift up your voice in prayer seeking his help with all you There is nothing too hard for the Lord. Moses and the Israelites were now camped close to where Jethro lived, Moses' father-in-law. You know, just before we go on, I was saying, as this thought came to me in the holiday, you know, a little story about, uh, what was his name? Toby? Um, no, Toby. Toby? <laughs> just last evening, um, at, um, with Micaiah and Elijah, they were going to put on this tape that uh, reads, I don't know, what is the book? It's a book, you know, and then it, you Tiny. Know, Tiny. Tiny. What is it? What did you get? Tiny, Tiny Cod Stories or something? Something like that. Anyway, it, 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 it reads to the tree. It reads it and with, you know, some nice music in the background. And then it beeps when they need to turn the page. But anyway, Elijah was in a hurry to, um, you get the tape going, and uh, and it needed to be rewound first. And there were so two boys were having a little struggle, and so the delight from Kai said, well, "Tell him Elijah, we need to get this thing rewound, not to push the play button." And so as they were struggling, as I saw that, I realized that they needed what? What do you think they needed? They needed prayer. So we immediately went down and said, boy, he says, you can't uh, get upset about one another. We need help. And so we, we just knelt right there by the couch and prayed. And you know what happened? They both were, they were happy. And so it just shows the power of prayer and how anxious Jesus is there to help us. Even in the little things like that. Just like he, he helped the Israelites and what? Moses judged the people. All day long the people came, one right after another, wanting Moses to help them make decisions and solve the problem. At the end of the day, he was very tired and his father-in-law was concerned for Moses. It was him doing all that work with no one to help him. It's important for us to remember to help others, like parents, siblings, friends, or neighbors. talked to Moses about the work he did and how he should divide it up among the leaders of the, of the people. Moses thought the council was good and did as his father-in-law said. 
And you know, when he listened to his father-in-law, the whole, those, all those thousands and thousands of people, the Israelites, were more well organized. Everything was even more organized than it was before. <coughs> Is there, is there a lesson for the children in that too? They need to listen to counsel? Maybe from mommy and daddy? <laughs> or grandmas and grandpas? Yeah. Okay. Should we be willing to listen to good counsel? What does the Bible say? Open your Bibles to Proverbs 19.20. Red 
shall be given him, his water shall be sure. Isaiah 33, 16. Bread shall be given him, his water shall be sure. Isaiah 33, 16. Maybe we should sing it. So it's a new show. You do? Why don't we sing the rhythm? Do we know that song? Thank you. 